okay this membrane is like that throughout this whole thing on the floor they didn't they're not they didn't do the floor like how I'm going to do the floor okay so when the water comes down it hits this it's going to come and it's going to go over the top of that okay so I could just leave that like that because everything's going downhill I don't have to really worry about that I could I could seal it but I don't really think uh, it's it's warranted okay I could I could put a little I could put a little caulking on there I could put my big stretch on there if I wanted to just to kind of keep it down I could lift that up put a little bit underneath here but I think I'm gonna let that go just in case just in case there's a crack in this stuff because I've been I've been folding it back and forth you know like that to work to work in these corners and stuff and do I know 100% for sure there's no leaks on here no but I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confident there's not but even when I flop it back down I can put some more of that Durabrite elastomeric roof coating over the top of this if I want just in this little section there's all kinds of stuff I can do with this and and this stuff is is water cleanup with just hot soapy water just hot water I, I'm not going to use hot water I'll probably just use regular water and a uh, sponge or something and it tells you it gives you directions on here how to do stuff and I thought that was kind of interesting here I wasn't really going to do that when you apply it you put it you're going to put it in one direction and then when you put the second coat because I'm going to put at least two coats I might even put three or four coats on here because it's so, such a small area it says the first one go you know one direction the second coat go the opposite direction and, and I, I thought I'm glad I read that because that's kind of a good thought there okay that gets that gets in the nooks and crannies and stuff especially if you're going over an old roof or something like that okay and how am I gonna put that on well I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on with a mini roller I, I should have brought it out here I, I've got a six inch mini roller this is a four inch mini roller and this is only a 3 8 snap roller cover I'm not gonna use that I'm gonna use a six inch and I've got some three quarter inch nap roller covers for that because this area is not that big if you saw me put the primer down you saw it wasn't it didn't really take that long anyways and if this was a whole roof of course I would not use a six inch mini roller I could use a, a nine inch or a 12 inch even I think they even got 18 inch roller covers and roller frames nowadays uh, but I thought you, you know I don't want to buy another roller and, and, and a, like a nine inch or something and do this by the time I do four or five strokes I'm done and so I don't have any roller covers for that and I thought more than likely most of the time when I do painting I use I like to use a six inch mini roller for my for for my walls even uh, if I'm going to do an accent wall I'll use a mini roller but I'll use the six inch instead of the four inch okay so so I thought okay I'll just use a six inch and then I'm going to use my I'm going to use my kaboom my two inch throw away brush I've still got it I've been using that for this whole project you've seen me I've been using it it's still in fairly good shape and I'll end up using that especially you know to cut in up in here and and to do all of these and that's that's what I'm going to focus on after I get the trim down I'm going to focus on doing the the borders of the flashings and uh, the uh, the webbing material up around these corners the outside corners inside corners and all that kind of stuff I can roll I'll end up rolling the last minute and today I looked at the weather and it was supposed to spit it's supposed to spit a little bit and uh, you know I'm hoping it's not gonna rain on me yes I want to get I want to get down at least one coat and if I can if it rains 
they're talking that it might ring tomorrow too. And if it does, at least I'll have one coat on here and I'll know that it's not gonna, it's not gonna leak anywhere. And then tomorrow I'll end up putting two or three more extra coats on there and, and doing anything I think needs to be redone because it's just a little area. So that's, that's why I decided to, to, to go to the store and try to find something. I knew they had some white elastomeric type stuff because I've used it years ago around um, roof curbs for air conditioner units on, on commercial buildings. I used to have to build the, uh, the roof curbs out of like four by 12 material, four by six material and rip it down to line up and make it flat, you know, for the air conditioning guys. And then I thought, hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna call a roofer out there. The air conditioning guy, he he made me, he made me the flashings and stuff. And I just went to the store and I got this stuff. And I don't, I don't know if it was the same exact one, but it was something like this, probably 20 years ago, 15 years ago. And I just started doing it on my own. They didn't have this, they didn't have this stuff before. They had, they had this type of stuff webbing and like I said it was about six inches and I would put that over the flashings and on top of the the roof deck and I do two or three coats over that and kaboom I was done never had a leak never had a complaint or anything so I thought so I thought you know what I don't know where I don't know where they got this stuff to begin with and how much I would have to buy and it's got sticky stuff on the back side. Sometimes they left the sticky on, sometimes they didn't. And, and once you put it up there, it's very unforgiving to move. If you don't get it exactly perfect, you can't really move it because it's already stuck down. And I wasn't sure where to go and I, I didn't want to have to, to mess with it and, and know, hey, if I, if I do a, a couple things wrong, this thing could leak again. I don't want it to leak again. So I thought, how can I do it safely easily to to my com comfortability and i i thought hey i'm just gonna act as though this is a roof deck and pretty much you can do that on any, on any kinds of of decks like this especially if you're going to put if you're going to put pavers over it now they put these pavers down and sometimes uh, i've i had a roof deck before and they didn't, they didn't do it this way. They put, um, oh, they floated it, they floated it over and then they put uh, mastic down or thin set and they used, they used the tile and they just, they just put the thin set down and then they put, um, or they put a, a bed of, of concrete down first. You know, kind of like they would do for showers and stuff, for shower walls and shower floors and stuff like that. And they screeded that off. Then they then they used thin set and they put the tile down and they actually grouted it and everything. So it was different than something like this. Okay, you still have to you still have to angle the floor down at an angle anytime you do a, a deck outside because you want the water you want the water to flow out. But I thought this was kind of a a, a cool way that they actually did it because they they put this roof. Uh, this roof membrane down first or deck membrane however you want to call it and they use this stuff here these are just little plastic cups and there's plastic on the on the back and then there's uh just like a cloth over the top that that's breathable and then they set all the tiles down on top of that give it a little cushion so if you have any inconsistencies and that way the tile is not setting on a hard surface to where it's going to start uh, cracking or something like that. That that gives it a little bit of a give. And then they filled all of the joints. They didn't use concrete or anything or, or grout or anything, obviously. They just put sand. They put a fine layer of sand in there and they brushed it in the in the joints and everything. And and that's what they did. They used sand in all that. And then this black this black uh, stuff here keeps the sand from going down inside and filling up these voids where these cups are. Okay, and that's how they did it. So, anyways, oh my, oh my word, look at this. It's starting to sprinkle already. Ah, you know what that's gonna mean? If it, if it rains much more than this, 
uh, I really need to have it dry in order to put all of my roofing material down, my elastomeric roof coating. I cannot, I don't really want to put that in down on the rain. And uh, ah, they said it was, they said they thought it might rain. I, and I looked on my, my phone and the other day it's, it said Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. Today it was only supposed to be cloudy. I see some sun out there and stuff and I'm hoping that it's gonna stop here pretty quick and, it, and maybe it'll dry up, I don't know. Enough to where I can do all the stuff that I wanted to do today. But uh, in any case, that's <laughs> that was my plan today. I think I'm still gonna get out there and uh, do a little bit with my ladder and make sure my flashing is all ready to go over here. I don't know. This is not this is not good. I was hoping to get this whole thing done. Can you believe that? I've been working on this thing for weeks. I don't know, five, four or five weeks, maybe more. Because I, I had to do all the dry rot repairs down underneath. Rebuild this entire thing. I got up to this point and it has not rained on me once. The day that I'm coming out here looking forward to putting this stuff down, boom, it starts to rain on me. Unbelievable. At least I've got two coats of my primer down. I'm glad I put that down because that's protecting this OSB plywood. The OSB plywood kind of looks like like this here. This was the half inch that I used on, on walls and inside the column and stuff. But the three quarter inch flooring is pretty much the same stuff. And when this stuff gets wet, it just expands like a sponge. And then it starts getting fatter and, and it just bulges. And so at least I'm not gonna have that issue with this. And I'm glad I, I went around the other day, yesterday, if you will remember, I didn't have any um, primer up underneath any of these columns or anything. And I went, I went ahead and did all of those and I thought, oh, I'll just do two coats of those. And I'm glad I did that because that's kind of protecting it from this water. And uh, I might just leave the cardboard down here for a little bit, see if it's gonna stop raining. I don't know. I just don't know. This is unsettling that I can't get this completed today. But uh, hey, it is what it is. Of course, I looked on the phone, you know, under weather, and it says chance of rain today, 10% chance of rain. And of course it's raining. But it also says it's only going to rain supposedly for the next hour and a half and then it's the sun's going to come out and this should be drying up today and I really want to get that first coat down and get this thing nice and waterproof but at least I've got at least I've got the primer down went ahead and brought my cardboard up over here I'm going to let it dry out over here and stuff but uh Ah, I wish it would have waited just one more day, just one, but it didn't. <laughs>